ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. Ako po si Junelle Labor and this is K-Check. The smartest game show on television is now on its home stretch. Welcome everyone to day three of the K-Check semi-final round. Our weekly winners are back para sumagot ng mga tanong na magdadala sa kanila sa ating grand finals at the end of this week. At sa araw na yon, isa lang ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. That's right. Pero hindi lang ang ating mga weekly winners ang sasabak sa araw na ito. Joining them will be our wild cards na pinili mula sa mga runners-up ng bawat weekly competition. And of course, kasama din namin kayong lahat na imbitado makisagot sa mga tanong na haharapin ng ating mga contestants. Kilalanin na natin ang apat na contestants na dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, ang aking katukayo, Gabby, who is a second-year BS Geology student here at UP Diliman. He has spent... Listen to this, 4,000 hours playing Dota 2 and about 1,008 hours calling himself a K-Check semi-finalist. Si Hana naman, ang ating BS Chemistry major, ay nakuha pang maging weekly winner kahit na ang kanyang minor ay gala at mga orgs. Mga pasaway talaga itong mga contestant natin. Gio, on the other hand, is a BS nursing graduate who seems to have overcome his calignephobia Enough to earn him a spot in our semis. At alam na natin na nag-google na ang mga tao ngayon para malaman kung ano yun. And last but not least, we have Shane, who is a UP Diliman BS Physics freshman and a part-time math tutor who earned his spot in the semis in week 7 of K-Check. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of our K-Check panel of experts. First is Professor Glessie Atienza, of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Marian Roque, professor of mathematics at the UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin. <music> Gabby, in local energy matters, what does the B in BNPP stand for? Bataan. Okay, check. Hannah, who wrote the books, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings? J.R.R. Tolkien. Okay, check. Lois Lane is the love interest of which DC character? Hmm, I don't know. Ah! The correct answer is Superman. Okay. Shane. Tripoli is the capital and largest city of which country? The correct answer is Libya. Gabby, what is Harper Lee's most famous novel? The correct answer is To Kill a Mockingbird. Hannah, in 1928, the animated short film Steamboat Willie Featured which famous cartoon character? Mickey Mouse. K-Check. Gio, what is the Philippine name of the tropical storm Nalgi which hit Luzon late October? Uh, Paeng. You did not make it within the time limit, but Paeng is the correct answer. Shane. Which 1986 novel by Winston Groom was made into a 1994 comedy drama film starring Tom Hanks? Forrest Gump. Okay, check. Back to Gabby. What 2000 superhero film features mutants such as Wolverine facing off with Magneto? X-Men. Okay, check. Hannah. Which actor starred as movie villains in title roles in The Scorpion King and Black Adam? <laughs> the correct answer is Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock. Gio, what is the title of the 2013 novel by Kevin Kwan, which was made into a 2018 movie starring Constance Wu and Henry Golding? 
ano. Kung magagalit si Chris Aquino sa iyo, the answer is Crazy Rich Asians, in which Chris Aquino had a cameo role in. Shane, what famous bell is located in the great clock of the Elizabeth Tower? Big Ben. Okay, check. Big Ben is the correct answer. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian Round. Standings nila as of now, Gabby, Hannah, and Shane each have 20 points each. Gio would have been in the same standing if he had been able to answer on time. Tama sana yung sagot Correct. niya. Uh -oh. Kaya lang hindi pumasok sa time yeah. limit. May, may next time pa. Merong next time, mm -hmm. di ba? Dito nga eh, sabi nga daw eh, you can never can tell. Yes. Uh -oh. Kung sino, uh -oh. kasi marami uh -oh. pang panahon para makakatch up. Okay, may opportunity lagi. No? Correct. Speaking of opportunity, si Shane, may opportunity lagi mag-volunteer as a math uh, tutor. No? Anong pakiramdam ng isang math tutor? Anong age ang tutor mo pala? Um, nasa range ng mga 12 years old or 14. Mm, so, anong pakiramdam na nakakapag-impart ka ng knowledge mo? Uh, ang fulfilling kasi na may na, may na ano ka, meron ka na apekto ang mga bata to the point na natututo sila. Ayan, parang Ah, man, you're leaving a mark in this world. Mm, mm. Leaving a mark in this world. Parang dapat natin siya isama sa the search for the next UP president. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede, no? Pwede. Uh, may age group ba yun? Ano 40 or above na? Parang ganun. Sa susunod, sa susunod pa na taan. Pwede, pwede. Oh. Prof. Neil, agree ka ba na pwede siya maging UP president? Well, um, a decade or two from now. <laughs> Bata pa. Uh, may questions ka sa mga contestants? Yeah, para sa nag-iisang babae sa panel kay Hana. Si Hana ay mahilig gumala. Okay, yes, baka ang tanong para sa iyo anong ideal na gala? Uh -huh. For me po, ang pinaka-ideal na gala ay kasama ang aking mga friends or ang aking family at very chill lang po ako. So gusto ko lang po bumibisita lang ng mall, nagbo-bowling mm. or nagsiskit. Pwede, pwede oh. nga yun. The no? ancient sports na bowling at mm. skates, mm -hmm. skating. <laughs> Siya na lang ang kilala ko na nagbo-bowling. <laughs> may, may, may renewed interest actually yung mga kabataan uh -huh. yun sa ganyan. So pwede, really, pwede. We really should encourage the children to go back to sports. Yes. yes. Uh, most definitely. So ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilita Round? Next, here on K-Check! -check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. And at this point, ang ating mga standing ng ating mga contestant, Gabby, Hannah, and Shane, each have 20 points each. Si Gio pwede pang humabol. And of course, ang ating mga viewers, na-google nyo na ba kung anong ibig sabihin ng kaliganophobia? Mm -hmm. Ako na-google ko na. Na-google mo yeah. na. Ano nga ba? Mamaya, i-google natin kung anong ibig sabihin niya. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the questions. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, pag-isipan muna bago i-press ang buzzer na yan. Let's begin! Question number one. What is the name of the tree that produces the seeds from where chocolate is processed? Hana. Cacao. Okay, check. Question number two. What country do the famous Polgar sisters of chess come from? Shane. Russia. Malik. Correct answer is Hungary. Question number three. Serbia and Croatia were part of what country from the end of World War II until the 1990s? Ang tama sagot ay Yugoslavia. Question number four. According to Barry Manilow, it is the hottest spot north of Havana. This is also the name of the famous beach in Brazil. What is the common name of these two famous places? Copa, Gio. Copa Cubana. Copa Cubana is Q5. Coming from the Arabic word for weather, what is the name of the seasonal prevailing wind in South and Southeast Asia blowing from the Southwest between May and September 
or from the northeast between October and April. Monsoon. Gabby? Monsoon. Monsoon is Kaycheck. Question number six. Since 2019, Tom Bergeron has hosted which TV show that pairs celebrities with professional dancers? Hannah? Dancing with the Stars. Okay, check. Next question. What is the name of the 20-foot saltwater crocodile caught in Agusan and confirmed? Lolo. And confirmed by the National Geographic as the world's largest crocodile ever caught? Shane? Lolo. Okay, check. Next question. In 1949, when Mao Zedong proclaimed the establishment of the People's Republic of China, Chiang Kai-shek and his forces fled to what island to regroup and plan for their efforts to retake the mainland? Gio? Taiwan. Okay, check. Question number nine. Named after a female arms tycoon, what was the nickname of the largest Howitzers used by Germany in World War I? The correct answer is Big Bertha. Question number 10. Which slow-moving, tree-dwelling mammal can be two-toed or three-toed just like Sid in the Ice Age movies? Hana. Sloth. Okay, check. Q11. In 1927, who flew the, pla the, the plane spirit of St. Louis in the first non-stop solo transatlantic flight from New York to Paris? Correct answer is Charles Lindsberg. Last question. Question number 12. What is the name of the younger sister of Detective Sherlock Holmes played by Millie Bobby Brown in a 2020 film? Hannah? Enola. Okay, check Hannah. Enola Holmes. And that's it for our K Check Pabilitan round. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Nako, at the end of the Pabilisan Round, hindi ka tulad nung pagkatapos ng Paramihan Round na halos pantay ang scores ng ating mga contestants. Meron ng umarangkada at bumulusok. At yan ay si Hannah with 100 points, followed by Gabby and Gio with 40 points each, and Shane with 30 points. Correct. No? So pwede talagang humabol kasi tinan mo si Gio from nothing to 40. Oo. No? Mm. Pero nga, si Shane ngayon ay nasa 30. Yes. Uh -oh. What a shame. <laughs> Naihabol mo talaga yun. Naihabol no? lang. Okay. Correct. May mga katanungan ng ating mga panel of experts sa talagang pinaghandaan itong araw na ito. No? Prof. Marian, sa ganda ng mga accessories mo, anong katanungan mo ngayon? Gusto kong malaman saan ba pwedeng maghukay ng ganito doon sa ating geology student okay. <laughs> na kapangalan ni Atty. Gab, si Gabby, um, BS Geology ka. Opo. Talagang yun ang gusto mong gawin sa buhay mo? Opo. Bakit? Um, Na-fascinate po ako sa earth science tapos na-inspire po talaga ako sa kanya nung sumabog yung taal nung 2020 kasi nasa close proximity po kami ng, ano, ng volcano and I want to do something about it. Oh, hindi ko inexpect na nakakaiyak pala yung mga ganong sagot. Okay, maganda kasi we need more scientists na geologists like you. So, good luck at good thank luck sa K-check na ito. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, Prof. Marion. Prof. Glessy, any questions? From Ako, tanong ko para kay Gio. Hi. Gio, hello. Napansin ko kanina, meron kang dalang gitara. Nagigitara ka yes. bago ka pumasok dito. Ano ba yung mga favorite songs na tinutugtog mo sa gitara? Uh, mostly mga old songs eh. Ay, old bands like Queen, The Beatles. So, as of the moment, I'm currently using, uh, listening to K-pop. K-pop. Okay. May bala ka bang mag-pursue ng isang career sa pagbabanda? Uh, opo. Sana. Ah. Okay. Given a chance. Okay. Good luck. Sige. Yes. Thank you, Prof. Les. Napaka-diverse no? ng ating mga... Uh, background among contestants natin. This time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Welcome back. Points recap muna tayo. Nauna si Hannah with 100 points. Kasunod si Gio and Gabby na pareho may 40 points at si Shane ay may 30 points. 
Ako, talaga nakikita natin kung sino nagli-lead. Pero, bago tayo pumunta sa ating last uh, round. round, kailangan natin malaman kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng phobia ng ating contestant Tama. na si Gio. Mm. Gio, ano nga yung phobia mo? Tsaka, ano ba yun? <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's uh, called kaliginophobia. Kaliginophobia. Yes, it's mm. fear of beautiful women. Oh. So, when, when, when I see someone who I think it's pretty, she's pretty, I tend to uh, get palpitations. I, my, my face turns red. Oh. Then, Kaya pala ngayon, para may ganyan. Uh, I tend to stutter sa... when I talk to her. Wala ba? Biglang lumalabas, Marianne Roque left the room. Ah. Ganon. Ah. <laughs> so, at ngayon, since alam na natin ang sikreto ni Gio, uh, pwede na tayong punta sa ating K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round where correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 50-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers sa round na ito sa mga professors na ating mga panel of experts manggagaling ang ating mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang papasok sa K-Check Grand Finals. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! And we begin our K-Check Pagalingan round with a question from Professor Glessy of our panel of experts. Thank you. Oh, ito, Philippine Literature. What is the title of this essay, written by Jose Rizal, which defended the working style of the locals in the context of the geographical and socio-political conditions? Hana? The indolence of the Filipino people. The answer is Kate Check. Next, we call on Professor Neil from our panel of experts. Ano ang tawag sa opisyal na pagbisita ng mga politikong Pilipino sa Kongreso ng Amerika upang hilingin sa mga kolonisador ang ating ka kasarindan? Naganap ang mga pagbisita mula 1919 hanggang 1934. Shane, Treaty of Paris. Uh, maling sagot? Nabanggit ko na kanina, nagsimula to noong taong 1919. Sa taong 1934, uh, nakuha na ng Pilipinas ang Tidings McDuffie Law. Ito yung naging batayan uh, na batas para sa pagtatatag ng Commonwealth Government. Ang tamang sagot ay Independence Mission. Thank you, Prof. Neil. We now go to Prof. Marian. Okay, number problem. Number talaga ha? 1 million is 1 followed by 6 zeros. 1 billion is 1 followed by 9 zeros. Trillion is 1 followed by 12 zeros. How do you call the number 1 followed by 15 zeros? Hana. Quadrillion. Okay, check. So we go back and ask Professor Glessy for the next question. Okay. Pelikulang Pilipino. Uh, in Lino Broca's film, Maynila sa Kukon ng Liwanag, Julio Madiaga went to the big city in search of the love of his life. What is the name of Julio's love interest? Shane, Liwanag. Liwanag. Uh, Wrong answer. The correct answer is Ligaya Paraiso. Si Hilda Coronel ang artista dito. Siguro magka-qualify ang movie na yan bilang isang lumang pelikula. Hindi ba? <laughs> Prof. Neil. <laughs> Lumang pelikula. Lumang pelikula. Okay, relative yan. Ang luma depende sa edad ng tao. <laughs> so ito yung susunod kong tanong. Magbigay ng isa sa mga probisyon ng Bolen Serrano Agreement sa usapin ng mga base militar ng mga Amerikano sa bansa. Naganap ang kasunduan ito nung panahon ni Pangulong Carlos P. Garcia. Yes. 
yung original na military basis agreement uh, na lagdaan yun noong taong 1946. Dati 99 years ang lease ng mga Amerikano sa lupa ng lupa ng mga Pilipino. Okay, sa panahon ni Garcia at ang tamang sagot ay binaba ang haba ng paggamit ng mga lupa para sa mga base militar mula 25 mula 25 no mula 99 tungo 25 years. Ang hirap ng mga tanong ni Prof. Neil. Number problem na lang ulit, Prof. Marian. Alam ko, alam mo yun. Dahil math club ka, okay? <laughs> Pero ito naman ay word. The word jiffy, not the peanut butter, is an informal term for any unspecified short period, like I'll be back in a jiffy. But it is also used as a unit of measurement. In which field or discipline was this unit of measurement first used technically? Okay, Jiffy is used to express a measure um, very brief duration of time. It's used in electronics, computing especially, but the first time it was used was proposed by Gilbert Newton Lewis and defined it as a unit of time it takes light to travel one centimeter in a vacuum. So it was first used in physics. We knew, we knew that all along. <laughs> we'll be back in a jiffy, Prof. Glessie. Yes. Ito na. Oh, ito naman. Uh, lokasyon. lokasyon. Uh, where can you find the Pantabangan Dam? Sagot ay Nueva Ecija. Now we know. <laughs> Now we know. Prof. Neil. Mula Nueva Ecija, pupunta tayo sa pinakamalaking, isa sa pinakamalaking bansa sa mundo, sa China. Okay, so yung tanong ay, sa anong dinastiya ng China unang lumawak ang kalakalan sa pagitan ng mga Chino at ng ilang isla sa Pilipinas tulad ng Mai. Bagamat meron ng mga nakatala na meron na tayong contact sa China nung panahon ng dinastiyang Tang, lumawak ang kalakalan, ang tamang sagot, sa panahon ng dinastiyang Song. Alam nila eh. O ito mula Nueva Ecija, China, ngayong kalawakan. <laughs> What was the name of the first man-made satellite launched Gabi. Sputnik. Launched by the Soviet Union in 1957. Correct answer is Sputnik 1, but I will take Sputnik. Uh, I'll accept that. So, K-check. <laughs> Prof. Glassy? Yes, okay. Regional literature. Shoot. Okay. He was called the father of modern Cebuano fiction and wrote about social themes. Among his most popular stories include Ugiano Dako or And I Was Carried Away and Apasumpay Postscript. What is the name of this famous Cebuano writer? Ang sagot ay si Marcel Navara. Now we know. Prof. Neil? Okay, huling tanong mula sa akin. Ano ang naging landmark decision ng U.S. Supreme Court sa kasong Brown versus Board of Education of Topica noong 1954? Ang tamang sagot ay ipinagbawal na ang racial segregation sa public schools. Okay. And our last question for this round from Sabi Professor Marian. Kailangan pa niyong mag-aral ng mga history. Eh? Kasi science parang caring-caring nyo. Eh, no? <laughs> Nakaka-2 over 3 na sila sa aking mga tanong. Ito, last question. Unahan na ito, madali lang. How do you call a group of dolphins? 
love you. Ang cute-cute ng dolphins. Hindi nyo alam kung group na sila ng dolphins. Oy, I love ni Attorney Gabby. The correct answer is... A pod. Okay, check. Pod of dolphins. Winner ka na. Winner na ako. At dahil winner na ako, that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Hannah, our third contestant, to get a spot in our grand finals with 160 points. She will receive power banks from TVUP, and we will see Hannah again on Friday for the K-Check Grand Final. Thanks to Gabby, Giu, and Shane for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marian. This is Janelle Labor. And this is Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.